Hey guys, just taking a drive down Belvedere. I'll probably upload this video after me just walking downtown Belvedere. But I figured I'd do a driving video because I haven't done one in a while. Oh yeah. But oh yeah, I like Belvedere. I've only been here like two other times in my life. Once when I was younger and once when I was uh, going to a pizza restaurant many years ago. That was pretty nice though. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. But it's, it's like Rockford, but smaller, of course. I mean, it's like any Midwestern town, I guess. I mean, I haven't been to a lot. Or I have been to a lot, but not all. I'll probably never get to every single city in the world, but you know, or in the United States. But I don't know. But it does seem pretty nice here, honestly. Driving home now, of course. Oh, that's nice. Didn't have to stop for long at that stop sign. Or stoplight, rather. It's got a GMC Savannah cargo van in front of me. I'd like to have one. I am an idiot. Just threw garbage out the window. Dang, I compliment his van and then he litters. Oh, well. I had to roll up the window so it's a little lack of noise so you can actually hear me hopefully. Also, let me guys, let you guys that watch this, let me know if you like this angle. If you like to be able to see the steering wheel or would you prefer just to see forward without the steering wheel because I don't have really a good camera set up, but I figured it's the best of both worlds. I know you really can't see entirely where I'm going, but... Isn't, a, isn't the point of a driving video to watch someone driving, not to where they're driving to? I mean, I guess it's the combo of both, but I don't know. <laughs> but oh yeah. We're getting to be the outskirts now, and suburbs to the right. Or suburbia, I guess you could call it. Of Belvedere. But I, um... Cruising down this road, there ain't many stop signs along the way for like 10 miles. Maybe a few here and there, but it's like the outskirts of town, as I just said. Then we get back into Rockford. It's not really that far. I think it said 10 miles down this particular road, but I believe that it cuts into Belvedere and Rockford, so it's not like they're 10 miles apart or anything. Far from it, in fact. Or, well... I don't know. I'd have to look at the map, but I'm not going to do that right now because I'm driving. But, you know, if you want to know, you can look it up. <laughs> That's all I can say. Oh, there's a nice Corvette up here. Oh, and another car. I wonder if you, hopefully you can see it in the video. Sorry if the camera's shaky. That's kind of crappy to see. It also looks like a nice um, a yellow Impala. 68 Impala. I don't know entirely, but still nice, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the car drives um, straight as hell. See this? No hands. Going down the road. Now it's kind of going to the... It's tilting to the right, so it does kind of drift to the right, but... The steering wheel's pretty straight. Oh, the steering wheel's not straight, but the alignment's pretty straight. After I got that alignment done a couple months back. Oh, yeah. So that's pretty good. I mean, you'd expect it to be straight after paying money to get an alignment, so... You know, no complaints there, I guess. <laughs> oh yeah, so how are you guys doing today if you're still watching this far? You enjoying your day, night, whenever you're watching this? A couple years from now, a couple months from now, whatever. Um, but oh yeah, I like this curve right here. You can take it at speed, not that I'm going fast, I'm going 45, but... I'd feel comfortable going a lot faster on this curve and it feels just so good because there's no stops. So you don't really got to worry about stop and go, stop and go. That's what I love about country roads. Oh yeah. And unlike the freeway, you still feel like, uh, you know, you're not constricted. Why do they call it the freeway when you don't feel free, you feel constricted. You got to stay in your lane, you know, I don't know. But, yeah, no, I'm just messing around, but... As you can tell, I have nothing to say. I'm just saying BS coming out of my mouth as, as I go, but... Who doesn't say that, right? But, oh, yeah. 
It's a nice warm sunny, sunny day as, as you could probably assume, but if you didn't know for whatever reason, I'm telling you now. Feels great. What a day to be alive, honestly. Hell yeah. Now I'm getting to 50 miles an hour. Still smooth as butter. There's a nice little park to the right. I know you can't see it, but it's like a little greenery area. Might go there one day. As you can see, there's a lot of industrial stuff around and probably rock quarries and dirt mines or whatever you, what, whatever you want to call it because you see a bunch of like the, like the dump trucks and stuff driving past. Makes sense. Makes sense. You're in the rural area. They have stuff like that. Newburgh Village Conservation Area to the left. How Illinois looked thousands of years ago, untouched. Hell yeah. Looks nice. Nice little bridge going over some water. But oh yeah. If I knew how to, I would do a time lapse video of this so I could go farther distances. Whoops, I got the camera up a little too far. Who knows how long it's been like that? <laughs> but uh, I would do like a long distance drives that in put a time lapse on there so you could see it in a reasonable amount of time. That would be cool. But I'd like to get like a camera holder type thingy in the car. Or even dash cam for that matter. But dash cam where I could also see myself driving. Kind of in the same position now, but maybe a wider lens so I could see in front of me and the steering wheel. Because I think, it, as I said before, goes in a package. It's like a package deal. You want to see where you're going and the person driving, at least their hands and steering wheel, you know, in, in the driving videos and stuff. Going uphill so my car downshifted a little bit. Because I don't ever like to be hard on the gas. Because I'm a wimpy wimp when it comes to driving my car. <laughs> But oh yeah, I won't make this video too much longer, but uh, oh yeah. Again, you have the choice to watch the whole thing or not. I don't expect you to, but enjoy it if, hope you enjoy it if you do. Alright, here's the first stoplight in a while, but it's still green, so hopefully I can make it. Oh yeah. Yep, I made the green, hell yeah. I think I will, um, hopefully the video doesn't cut out at least, but, uh, I might, I might, uh, what's it called? Just in the video when I get into Rockford, to title this as Belvedere to Rockford Drive, I guess. I feel like that would be a suiting title. Oh, yeah. Cherry Valley Landscape Center, that's to the left. You know, I just thought about it. I don't even remember where I'm supposed to go, but I'm just going to keep going straight until I recognize something. And then at the very least, I'll get off the video and get directions. I, there's Bell School Road here, so I don't exactly know where that's at, but I know of where it's at. Of course, it's in Rockford, you know. But uh, let me get to a more familiar area, I suppose. All right, let me readjust my hand getting kind of numb <laughs> there we go hang on hell yeah let me actually pause this all right there we go So 
I might not stop the pause the video at each stoplight because I do have to turn my neck to the right to see what button I'm pressing so I don't accidentally stop the video. You know, again, like I said before, it's not a perfect camera set, but gets the job done for enough to where I'm satisfied. <laughs> but oh yeah. Another stoplight, of course. Let me try and pause it. All right, now it's green. You don't need me telling you that, whether you can see it or not. You can assume that because I'm driving forward. <laughs> but anyway. Also, if you've noticed that I click in a lot of my videos, I go like, that's because I have ticks. I have lots of ticks. You'll go, you'll see throughout a lot of my videos that uh, I I do things like that. I'll go or I don't know. I just I got ADHD and that's part of it, I suppose. But oh well. Yeah, you'll probably like I said, you'll notice that in a lot of my videos that I do things like that. Just something I live with on a daily basis. Doesn't really affect me any. Oh well. I mean, why would it? Just a fraction of a second of a noise. <laughs> I don't know. Silly thoughts, I guess. Never rode on, I've, or I've never driven a motorcycle. I've, ro I've rode on one for a short period of time, but uh, I'd like to ride on, r drive a, learn how to drive a motorcycle. Can't be that hard, I'm assuming. I say that, and it probably is, who knows. But oh yeah. I can't even remember what road I'm on. I'll probably be able to see on this uh, once I go to this intersection. Look at what street I'm on. Oh, I'm on Newburg Road. Okay, I see. Oh boy, another light I was able to go straight through. And just to say this now, if the video does randomly cut out for whatever reason, it's probably because I ran out of space on my phone, unfortunately. But hopefully it doesn't do that. At least not till I get to a point where I'm satisfied. But, I mean, technically I could cut it here, but I don't want to. Because, I mean, while I am in Rockford, you know, Belvedere to Rockford, a drive, but it just doesn't seem appropriate in this area to stop it here. In the middle of, like, a, a neighborhood. I don't know. Let me get you, like, a shopping district or something that I'm familiar with, maybe. Then I'll be satisfied. And then I'll probably have to go to Google Maps and figure out where the hell I am. I, I bet you I could figure out my way home from here. I just turn turn on a street I know and go from there. About as simple as that. Damn, this guy flying up behind me. I wish you could see. His red car to the right, his red Jeep that's about to get in front of me now. He's about ready to rear end me. Then he whipped to the right and then got in front of me and whipped to the left. Yeah, there's idiot drivers around here, that's for sure. That's where, where else, or where don't they have idiot drivers, though, you know? In a quarter mile, turn right onto South Alpine Road. Oh, nice. It told me. Hopefully I didn't mess with the YouTube video. I didn't even know I still had Google Maps on. But oh yeah. That's helpful. Hopefully this light don't take too long because it's a weird intersection. It's like a, a T intersection, but it, it's like a four-way, but the other four-way is a... Uh, 
or the fourth direction is kind of skewered off to the farther down the road. Hard to explain without seeing it, but you know. Take the next right onto South Alpine Road. Take next right because I took too long, but that's all right. You probably can hear it. Ooh, that was a nice little, uh, was it? Continue on South Alpine oh, Road for Ford, three quarters of a mile. The Ford Econoline pickup truck, but it was like the van pickup truck. Head west on Broadway towards South Alpine Road. But anyway, I think I'll cut it here and, or, well, no, I'll give it a little bit longer. Yeah, I'll give it a little bit longer because I know if I don't, then I'm going to want to, uh, I'm going to wish I did. Wish I did it longer, I mean. Oh, look, this sob that's turning, that's a nice sob. Pretty sure that's a sob. A white one that's coming in screen now. I believe it is. You don't see those anymore. Ah, oh, damn, it's a green arrow, fuck. Papa John's, they're, they're expensive and their crust is really doughy. Not my favorite. Far from it, in fact. But oh yeah, now I got the green. In a quarter mile, turn right onto Parkside Drive. Oh yeah. Now I'm following Google Maps. Google Maps advice. Take the next right onto Parkside Drive, then use any lane to turn left onto Charles Street. Alrighty then. Too bad I can't squeeze my car to the right. Oh, now well, it's green, so that's, that wasn't too long. Should have better slow down. About hit them. No, it wasn't near, anywhere near enough close to hit them, but I was getting kind of close. Oh yeah. Follow this road, I assume. Use any lane to turn left onto Charles Street. I didn't even hear left or right. Probably left. Yeah, left. That makes sense to me. Oh, yeah. If only it was left on red, not just right. No. <laughs> It'd be a lot of disasters if that was the case. Continue on Charles Street for two miles. Yeah, sorry if you don't like that it's saying the, the, or the Google Maps is talking in the video, by the way. There's nothing I can really do about it, but again, if you don't want to watch it, don't watch it. <laughs> That's all I can say. And the road's really bumpy and Makes it really sickening to watch, I bet. But oh well. Yeah, it just shows you how bumpy Rockford roads are. Most of them are worse than this, but... You know. school to the left. That's pretty interesting. I can't say that I've ever, oh, excuse me, I can't say that I've ever actually seen East. I've seen about all the other high schools in town, but not East. There's the Charles Street Schnucks to the right. A good buddy that worked with me for a short period of time at my Schnucks actually transferred to this one. Maybe I should stop and see him. Nah, I don't even know if he's there to be honest. 
and I better slow down too. It's only 30 through here. <laughs> But anyway, um, oh yeah, I'm gonna take a right on Rockford Avenue. Make sure it's clear. Hell yeah. I'm only going right because I didn't want to stop at that stop. You stop at that stoplight. Oh, I know where I'm at near the Stockholm man. In a quarter it's mile, turn left, left onto East like State Street. Kid, that's I've, I'm never really usually on this side of town, so that's pretty. That's pretty interesting, honestly. Surprise the video hasn't cut out yet, but hopefully it doesn't. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea where I am, but I'll figure it out. A nice little Chrysler LeBaron convertible. Take the next left onto East State Street. Take the next left, I think it said. Yeah. Yeah, it's got to be left because right I'd be going out of the way. Makes the most sense. Oh, yeah. Whichever one comes first, uh, continue on East State Street for one mile. Or downtown, I'll probably cut the video there. But oh yeah. But yeah, like I said before, too bad the Google Maps is talking in the video. Kind of reduces the quality of the videos, but at the same time, I'm, I'm not a you know an A plus uh, video maker, so it kind of fits. Boot kind of fits, you know. But oh yeah. I think it's a good time to say I'm really proud of this car. I bought it for 550 bucks about two years ago. The only money I put into it was stuff that didn't technically need to be put in, but made it ever so slightly better. But it honestly, it's it's worth the, beyond worth the 550 I spent on it. I drive it everywhere, and it does not skip a beat. The heartbeat of America, today Chevrolet. There's a nice looking plantation style house to my left. So at least that's what it looks like. And this Buick to my right, the back wheel's bouncing up and down. Looks like it's super out of balance, or maybe the Dyna ride's bad, who knows. <laughs> In a quarter mile, turn right onto North 9th Street. Up Take the next right onto North 9th Street, then use any lane to turn slightly right onto North Longwood Street. Up a little bit more though. Speaking of downtown, that Burger King to the right, I hate that Burger King. In 800 feet, turn right. Turn right onto East Jefferson Street. In a quarter mile, turn right onto North 3rd Street. Uncle Nick's very famous for uh, their Euros. Had one a couple times, they're pretty good. Ah, uh, you probably can't see it, dang it, oh well. But if you're ever in Rockford, try Uncle Nick's. Uncle Nick's, I mean to say. Delicious. Uh oh, siren's coming from somewhere, I don't know. Can't tell. So from 
here, I need to go... Take the next right onto North 3rd Street, then turn left onto East Jefferson Street. Hmm... Why would I go right? I don't understand. Oh, maybe I can see why I need to go right. But anyway, here's downtown up, up this way. I'll probably cut it once I get to the bridge. In 600 downtown. feet, turn right onto North 1st Street. Of course, it's nothing like Chicago downtown. That's a nightmare and a half to drive through there. But, uh, oh yeah. It's like a mini Chicago, but far from it, you know. <laughs> This Rockford's got nothing on Chicago in terms of uh, density, of course. Of course, it's a lot larger of a city. In fact, third largest city. Turn right onto North 1st Street. But downtown is pretty dang beautiful, though, that's for sure.